when people started complaining about her and, you know, talking about her fighting her way up to the front row or whatnot, then uh, security came over and started to drag her out. Well, when security was dragging her out, she looked back at the crowd and was screaming, you're all going to fucking die tonight. Every single one of you are going to die tonight. It's still not good. Yeah, I, um, did, I did hear about that. So, you know, <laughs> oddly enough, here's, an, here's another uh, strange uh, fact Okay, that I looked up um, a month prior to this, Las Vegas Police Department did a live shooter drill, an mm-hmm. active shooter drill, and it was a scenario with a man and a woman. So, is it conspiracy? How do you go there? I feel like a dipshit even thinking that it could be a conspiracy. You know what I mean? Like, who would want what government agency? What's you know, who? Who would actually put some shit like this on other than? anti-gun activists right but how do you this guy had obviously been doing this for a while he mm-hmm. was sick in the head you know and his brother's tried acting like i can't i'm totally in shock my brother he, something needs to be done if my brother can do you know fuck fuck whatever yeah dude. you know your brother's fucking crazy you see all those guns in his house well you can tell his his brother looks crazy yeah so, and it sounds crazy yeah. and he just he was just rambling on and you know no one ever saw this no one ever did this and you know, all the, he might have had two guns. He might have had two. Motherfucker, come on, man. Yeah, you can't hide like, that. Let's let's be real. But I mean, that's definitely a possibility. Because you know, from now on, I mean, years to come, there's going to be you know the conspiracy um, theories going out there, <laughs> and we're going to hear about this shit on every anniversary, and we're going to see the videos on every anniversary, and it, it's going to get weirder and weirder every single time. Bar to not believe. Yeah. I mean, with all the shit that's going on and you know, a lot of this stuff could be planted. I mean, you hear about all the stuff with JFK and, um, you know, and I mean, you go down the line with every assassination or every um, shooting, the Sandy hook thing where they say they were all actors and it was all bullshit. Yeah. Um, you know, who's to say that's not because we're so drowned in this, this world of CNN and Fox news and MSNBC and, you know, and that's not a plug for them at all because they're all a bunch of freaking retards. I can't watch them. I can't do it anymore. I mean, the only thing good that I see uh, is is the way some of these people are reacting. And mm-hmm. you know, if if they would focus more on stuff like that and just the you know humanity being out there and being exposed and being open. Did you see the guy that was standing there with his beer, fucking looking up at the window, yeah, flipping, flipping it off? off. <laughs> I was so like that guy is just my hero. There, there like, was there was two of them in that same video, like when they first uh, were filming up there, and it, it's making my eyes water up just thinking about it. Uh, this lady was like she's the only lady, and she's standing up and she's just pointing. And, she, like, and there he is, yeah. And then the guy, then they go to that guy, and he's got his fucking beer, and he's not even like panicking or anything. He's so fucked up. That, yeah, dude, that's that's pure drunkenness, yeah, right there. And, and then you know, flipping him off and talking shit, and you know, when you're you back, know. when you're 21 years old and you're just fucked up, and you're standing in the middle of the road, oh no, that car, dude, cars that, are coming and shit. That, and that like, dude was a, yeah. a late 30s, yeah. early. 40s. No, I know, but I'm saying that's the mentality he had. Yeah. You're, you're just invincible. He's had enough beer. And yeah, I'm at a country. I'm at a country concert. <laughs> this is America. And fuck you. <laughs> Shoot me, you know, and and we don't mean to laugh at at, oh, at this man. tragedy, people. But, Absolutely but not. At at some point, you have to try to to laugh when you know shit like this is going on in our world. Yeah. Well, and, and again, it's not funny. There, there, there's aspects of it that come out as a com- yeah. comedic way. Yeah. You've never, I don't know. In the history of video, I don't think you've ever seen that many rednecks running from a gun with a beer in their hand and swearing to God that they're not gonna sp- they're not gonna spill their beer. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was a lot of beer saved that day. <laughs> Did you see the video of the guy that that r- was filming himself as he ran back to his car or his house or something Mm-mm. to get his gun, and then he started running back towards the hotel? No shit. The dude with a cowboy hat on, oh. just crazy some bitches. Like, like, but that's a good thing, man. That, that, I mean, there was a lot of uh, heroism that was going on. Um, and even, uh, I don't know if it was Jason Aldean's band or if it was Big and Rich, um, their, their band members, but um, one, one of them said they all carry um, guns. They, they all have them. Um, but they didn't want to pull them out because they were in fear that if they pulled them out, 
Yeah. That and you have to the, think the, like that. The police were going to, you know, go after. Well, that and you don't know if, if I've got a gun and I'm not sure where the gunshots are coming from. And I see you with your gun out and people dead all oh, yeah. around you. I'm going to shoot you. So and then it turns a, into an yeah. like actual war zone right. as much as that right. already was. And, and thankfully, most gun owners that carry, you know, are smart and they, they know to wait for their time you know right. there's an opportunity when you use it and if it's not there and it's not clear who who you need to be shooting then yeah you don't do anything but yeah. but there was a lot of heroism too there was a lot of people that were running back into the the line of fire to give cpr drag people out of there they were tearing down fencing and putting people on fences uh using them as as uh gurneys yeah there were 10 foot fin- fences man can yeah. you imagine trying to escape after that yeah because most of the people um they were going through the gate one which was because they're saying statistically that the gate that you usually come in in is the one you is go the out. one that you go out. Right. So everybody was essentially running towards the gunfire, right? Uh, which is scary. And then because the, it was so packed, the people that couldn't do that were trying to jump over a ten foot fence. At least they were running. I mean, <clears throat> when the when it first started and people actually started to realize that it was gunfire, there was so many everybody people that were kneeling dropped. down and just laying there. And it's like that's the worst thing you could possibly do yeah. in an, in an active shooter situation or any shooting situation. You run, you move. It's so hard to hit a moving target. I don't know if you've ever tried to hit a moving target before, even with a with a right. rifle. It's 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 it takes some skill, man. Well, he didn't. I mean, but I mean, you're talking about <clears throat> automatic um, rifle or modified. Yeah, he had a bump from stock a, on it. Yeah, from a distance that you could not really possibly like look for one target. Right. I mean, you're just he's spraying. Yeah, but still, man, you, you don't just lay there. You know, play no, the lottery. I, hell no. <laughs> but on the other side, I mean, there were kids in the crowd. There were, you know, um, older in- individuals. And a lot of these people were just literally tackling these kids and tackling these older people and just laying over them. Which, I, I Cause, her- yeah, that's heroic as hell. I get it. But grab those motherfuckers and get gone. Like, yeah. if, if, if in the future, anybody who's listening to us, if you're ever caught in those situations, don't stay. Like, go, get. And then there were long pauses, obviously, where he's got to reload. But they don't know that. I mean, I mean, I they know. hear it, but, they, okay, well, is it a, a five-second pause? Is it a 15-second pause? You got to get, mean, man. What you got to get. You got so, to move. And then, you, then you're talking about a bunch of drunk people that are, <clears throat> true, you know. True, <laughs> they're They're running, but they're... You know they're zigzagging, right? <laughs> they're, <laughs> just, <laughs> they're, they're bumping the monkeys too. They're, right. <laughs> you know what I mean. So it, it, it's it's a hard one to to say. And, and the other thing is is you don't know what you're gonna do if you're not in that situation. Yeah. Yeah. So when the, when that shit starts coming down and you're seeing people getting shot in the head or something like that right next to you, I mean, you and I, we're, we're the dumbasses standing there with our fingers in the air. Yeah, and we would be looking for it, and yeah. I guarantee you, you know. <laughs> You know, having our our, our fart, uh, fart, our fight background and stuff like that, and our kind of no bullshit um, way of thinking, we would have probably, you know, went towards the hotel. I I have well, and I have no doubts. I would have tried to help many people, as right. many people as I could. You know, as soon as my family, like if my if my loved ones were there, if my if Jessica was there, well, of course, yeah, the kids are there. You got to get them to safety. But yeah, you're gonna go out and try to help somebody for sure. So, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, I I don't know about you, but like I have these. Sometimes I like after these kind of things happen, I have these in, like visions of like if I'm in a movie theater yeah. or if I'm right there and some asshole. I mean, because I go to Country Jam every year. Yeah, you know what I mean. We're talking, you know, fifteen thousand people. Um, you know, watching the same kind of stuff they were watching. Yeah. There, I mean, there's no high rises or anything, but if a guy opens up and he's right next to me, you can damn well be sure that I'm going to, you know, try to take him out. You have to. I mean, not yeah. everybody's built like that. You know what I mean? But, but you know, you have to. Yeah. I mean, it, you might, you might get it. You You might, you know, get that shot. You might die. But I mean, that's where I'm at. Like yeah. I, I'd rather do that because, you know, you, there's kids, there's there's just they're people, yeah, and it, it's so fucked up. And this guy, um, I I can't wait to find out, uh, and because we're never gonna know, we're never gonna know what really happened, Mm-mm. and it's not because maybe they don't 
find out, it's because they're just never going to tell us. Well, in, unless it's, you know, and people were like, oh, I don't know. There's been everybody that said he was at an anti-Trump rally and all that stuff. But you look at the pictures and it's hard to decipher whether or not it was him or not. There's some differences and things, but um, or that he was anti uh redneck or whatever you know it was a country well you can't say that because he was he was planning shit at other events too right like Lollapalooza and all that stuff so it wasn't about country music it wasn't about you know the far right or anything like that the guy was deranged mm -hmm. and that's the issue that needs to be handled it's not gun control is is off the table man it's not gonna fucking happen yeah. <laughs> you're just never gonna get if you think that you were surprised by the amount of people that voted for Trump <laughs> wait till fucking you try to instill some gun control in this country because the second amendment wasn't made for us just to hold guns and play with guns and hunt and do all that shit it was for us to con you know control tyranny from our government right and if you try to take that away from us we're gonna rise up and fucking it's over I mean no, there's I, no I, way it's gonna happen yeah I, I agree and that's what I say it, you know gun control in general I mean it's such a, a broad um, topic um, because everybody's got their own version of yeah. um, the second second amendment. It's pretty damn it's, it's simple. Yeah, I mean it's, it's pretty cut and dry, man. Yeah, you can't you can't <laughs> fuck that up. Yeah. And you know what? Like I I truly believe, and I didn't own a gun until shit last year. Yeah, um, in my entire life, I've shot guns, but I never owned guns. And shit, now I own three, and you know I love it, dude. I mean, I got a burn underneath my my eye. I took my my son uh, at the range the other day. Did you get some brass. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, it hurt so bad. I and it was the one time that I turned my hat backwards, oh, and yeah. I was wearing my glasses, these glasses, and it just flew right in that bitch. And I had the gun in my hand, and like it was burning like shit. But I was panicking because I was like. My gun, my gun. And I didn't want it because you're not supposed to turn. You, you yeah, got to stay parallel yeah. to the um, target. Anyway, so I threw the gun down. And by that time, dude, my eye was – it was already swelled up. So it, what, the brass went in between your glasses yeah, and sat on and your it, cheek? Well, see, yeah, because my glasses sit on my cheek. So it just got stuck. That's why you have safety goggles when you shoot. Well, I know. But I mean, I usually <laughs> just wear these because of my eyeglasses yeah. and I can, I can see better. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it, dude, I love it. Yeah, I, I love it. Yeah, and you know the the concealed part and all that stuff. Um, the next thing I'm getting is uh, a holster to um, actually goes underneath the steering wheel. Yep. So got one. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. In fact, I've got magnets that are pretty cool too. If you wanna, I've got a couple extra if you want one. Okay. They're a, it's a little metal plate that you screw onto your underneath your dash, mm -hmm. and then there's a high power magnet that attaches oh, to sure. that, and then your gun literally you can set it either way. You can do it, you know kill shot where you can do it you know yeah either however you want to mount it on there but yeah no it, and then see and where i'm also at it's like i agree with like that that bump bump stock um thing it, it shouldn't be legal i mean because if you're not allowed to have an automatic weapon weapon and you're converting uh, a semi into an automatic weapon it shouldn't be uh, here's the thing you take away a bump stock they're going to modify it somehow I mean, you're right. They, there's not. That's the whole thing that that people that fight for the for gun control don't. I don't know why they don't get it. Well, let's just outlaw murder, and then nobody will do it. You know, mm -hmm. let's just outlaw. Oh wait, we we already have that law. So I mean, no matter what you do, it, it's going to only affect the people that are the good guys. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the bad guys don't give a fuck. They're not going to give a shit what laws you, you know, implement. It's they're going to find a way around it. Well, the yeah, they'll definitely find a way to build the yeah. bump stock. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I get it, but I mean it's limiting. I mean, you, you start taking away, it makes it more difficult. Yeah, to, it makes to it access. harder. Um, you know, but like I said, whether you have a pistol or you have a shotgun or you have a semi, I mean, you're you're still killing people if yeah. you're if if you want to do that. And honestly, he could have killed just as many people, you know, for the amount of time that, it, I mean, there was 11 minutes of shooting going on uh -huh. and I'm sorry, but dude's a horrible fucking shot. 11 <laughs> minutes with a fully automatic rifle. Thank God it was only, you know, the a limited amount of people that, that actually perished. But, but yeah, man, I mean, he could have done that with uh, as many, as many weapons as he had. I mean, he could have just sat there and pulled the trigger and just, you know, took out just as many, if not more. Yeah. So he had a freaking armory in there, man. I know it's insane. It was insane. And but you know what's funny is I keep thinking like every, you know every time you go in a hotel room you always like want to hide your stuff, you know, so that the maids or something like that you know are not getting into your shit. Yeah. 
but you know, you'll notice every now and again that your bag is kind of open the way it wasn't beforehand or something. Yeah. Like I, I've just like, these are some pretty good maids and some really courteous maids. <laughs> well, it, it, you know, he could have he could have just put the fucking I don't need towels, I don't need shit. You know, put the no. Out. They said the maids were in the the room. Seriously, yeah, room.